In today's tutorial on the chemistry of medicinal drugs, we will discuss uh, one synthesis of salbutamol. Salbutamol is an essential medicinal drug for the treatment of uh, asthma attacks. And uh, it is uh, applied as a spray. So, how can we synthesize salbutamol? We have the aromatic system with a um, hydroxyl substituent, so it's in phenol. Then we have a hydroxy methyl group in orthoposition, position, and this secondary amino alcohol in the side chain at the para position of the phenol. We can start the synthesis of this molecule either from 4-hydroxy-para-hydroxy-acetophenone or from this molecule everyone should be able to identify this as a derivative of salicylic acid. It is the salicylic acid methyl ester. So, in the first part of the video, we will have a look at the synthesis from this starting component. How can we introduce in the para position the side chain? Certainly not in a single step. We will start with the friedel crafts acylation of this bromoacetic acid chloride. Then we have this side chain and now we can introduce the amino functionality by just the reaction with this nucleophile, a secondary amine with a tertiary butyl group and a benzyl protecting group. A simple nucleophil nucleophilic substitution in the presence of a base, since uh, we are eliminating HBr. Then we are at this stage of the synthesis. <clears throat> Let's have a look what has to be changed to finally reach salbutamol. We have to eliminate this benzyl protecting group and we have to change the oxidation state here at the carbonyl group from the carbonyl group to the alcohol and also to change the oxidation state of this ester to a primary alcohol. So which reagent do we know which can achieve both reducing a ketone and reducing ester? Well, it's lithium aluminum hydride. With one step we change both carbons in the oxidation state and then it's just one final step to get rid of the benzyl protecting group hydrogen hydrogenation of it on palladium on charcoal that uh, will eliminate the benzyl group and we are at the target molecule with salbutamol. According to the patent, this synthesis can be achieved in 30 to 40 percent yield, but there is a problem. And the problem is lithium aluminum hydride. You want to avoid this rather dangerous reagent on a large scale for industrial processes. It's more a lab chemical. Well, and therefore, well, industry has decided 
well, let's develop an alternative uh, uh, synthesis, avoiding lithium aluminum hydride, although the overall synthesis then is less than 30%, as we will see in the second part. Thanks for listening.